Oh, he's walking back to a game and chill. I can't with how fucking ridiculous that this game is. I don't want to use the bad words in describing it, because I know I'm sure there are people we know who, like, saw it the Hedgehog. Like who? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call anybody out, but... I think you know. I have a guess of who you're gonna say. I don't think... Actually, no, legitimately, I was not thinking of anybody in particular. Fucking Sonic, move. Okay. Alright. Um, there's a kid, like... The reason, the reason why on my... You'll see when we play it, on my banjo 2 e file, my, my primary one, uh, I have, like, like, several hundred hours logged, is because I would just, like, you know, go around and just... Explore, you know. Yeah. I enjoyed that aspect of it. And I think I, I, did, I did a lot of that in this game. I would just like drive around, with, like, run around as the characters, and just like that make, make shit up in my head. You that know? is cute, and I like games this that have that aspect. Oh, he's still reading. This reduces the time needed to store yes. power for the it's Basically, dash. the thing I got was the shitty version. Now I have the better version. I don't know why. Then, why? Why does? Why does give me the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's fucking weird. I guess. I guess to teach you how to use it better, you know, make you mm. make you make you practice the moves so you're good at it. Okay. All right. Over yeah. Yep, here we go. All right. Casino. We're in Vegas now. But, um... Boom! All right. I don't know. I don't... I, I understand that, like, Sonic was supposed to be Sega's version of Mario. Yeah, I mean, to an extent... It was, to an extent. Succeeded an extent. in doing that. You but know. as of now... Oh, yeah. Like, they, they are just... Like, Mario is still yeah. a thing. Of course. And Mario still, you know, produces great games. And yeah, Mario like, still produces awesome content. Has a great awesome legacy content. and just, you know... Like, Mario Odyssey was the best goddamn thing ever, and really? I might actually start replaying that now. It's um, just so funny to think, like, there was once a time when, like, Sonic or Mario, who's better, was, like, an actual, like, debate. <laughs> like, I, I remember, actually... I debated my friend, my friend Will over this for, like... We, 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 we would debate about this for hours. I was always on Mario's side. He was on Sonic's side all the time. Mm. But, like, he's a great guy. But, like... I, I do know that... And Christian. to this day, he's still like that. <laughs> well, is it, doesn't, doesn't he have the off? No! Oh, no, that's somebody else. That's oh, that's somebody else. else. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, um, I remember... Oh, yeah, the screw attack thing? Yeah, tell it. The what? Christian thing, the screw attack thing? When no. he got mad when he got mad at that video? Oh, I mean, yeah, that was funny. Oh, what were you going to say? Sorry, I was going to talk to him about his irrational like, hatred of Mario. He doesn't hate Mario. Yeah, he does. I don't think so. It says so on the quickie. Does it really? I don't remember He that. also apparently hates uh, Harry Potter. No, he doesn't. He made a Harry Potter thing. He made, like, a Harry Potter freaking reference thing in, 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 in a video. Oh. Where he did, like, he, where he did, like a... He's like, I am a straight man. I am in the world of Hogwarts or something. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, it's not something he, you know latched onto, but it's, I don't think he hates it. I think he views it as, like, competition for Sonic. What, Ma Harry Potter? Yeah. That's, no, no one's that stupid. <laughs> Mario, yes. Yeah. Sonic, I don't think so. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, so there's the Chaos Emerald. We, uh, we have to, we have to, we're in a casino. We have to play casino games. Okay. And win as many rings as we can, and then the pile of rings before will eventually go high enough to where we can get the Emerald. So this is not one of the fast levels, this is one of the just, you know, kind of fucking around levels. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna find uh, some, some games. But, um, Pinball, but when he got mad at the video, like, I don't actually remember that. Yeah, no, yeah. There was a, I think it was Screw Attack, who usually does the blank versus blank videos, like, we'll, you know, do a whole thing where a guy will, like, run down. Here's why this character is so powerful, and, like, uh, yeah! Haha, <laughs> I rock. Alright, um... You know, the, uh, a guy, you know, who, uh, a, a professional-sounding guy will talk about, like, you know, they're all the, like, this character's powers and what they can do and yada yada yada. And then they'll, like, put together, a, you know, a pretty well-animated, like, uh, thing together. There you go. Uh, to, like, you know, like an animation or something to, of, of those two characters fighting. Like, I remember he, okay. like, he like, Spider-Man versus Batman and, like, okay. you know, stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, what's another one? Uh, you know, Superman versus, you know, I don't know, just, uh... Shazam. Maybe because they made Batman, I don't know. But, um. Oh, fuck. Look at this. Shining K. Whatever that means. Okay. Yeah, this makes about as much sense as as, as, re as real pinball machines do to me. I was never do any you good remember what. I liked playing pinball with Jess. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it happens. Um. But, um. Yeah, so they, they did one of Mario vs. Sonic. And, had, and then Mario went over, as they say. Of course. Uh, and Christian got super offended by it and, like, demanded that they, you know, do it again. Like, re, like demanded a freaking recount or demanded that they, that they redo it because in his mind, in no... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Seizure. In his mind, in no universe does Mario beat Sonic. What the fuck? Whoa. What the fuck was that? I don't even remember. I've never done that before. That was, that was something I've never seen before in this game. Right. So... We're whacking ourselves around. Yep, probably. 
you, here's a question. If this is supposed to be like a, like a casino open to the public, how does anyone else play these games that are seemingly built for Sonic the Hedgehog? I mean, clearly this is a, this is a giant fucking pinball table. Like, how is a human being- ah, damn it. How is a human being supposed to play these games? This is, it's fucking- it's, it's a giant pinball machine built for a small, for a larger than average hedgehog. Like, what the hell? Makes no fucking sense. I'm gonna, I'll take it. And I'm not sure, like, what- I mean, it's not like it's real in this universe. And there's someone who is so obsessed with him they built an entire pinball table dedicated to Sonic. This real person that exists. That's fucking crazy. In this universe. What? Oh, yeah, there's always there's always been a like uh, a uh, you know casino style level in, in a lot of classic uh, Sonic games. Okay. Maybe just this game's version of that. Ah, fine. Fuck it up. Oh, this is extra life. I don't want extra life. I'm fine. I got ten lives. All right. Yeah, we're playing pinball. <laughs> I remember my, our friend John, of course, our asshole John, we used to call him, who's here and who, who has been on, the, on this channel. Uh, he's a big pinball guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, because he grew up in the arcades, but uh, yeah, I was never a pinball guy. Mm -hmm. I, I, I never really. I mean, it's fun. It's, it's fun for a little while, but I get bored with it. Yeah, I same. It might be my OCD or my ADD, but. I don't have ADD. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Three K. Is that Rapunzel? Yeah, I was just thinking that actually. The font looks just like it. Well, I know like Rapunzel is like a um, like a, like a, like a you know night nightlife district in, in Japan. Oh, that's what um, that is a reference. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, what I, did, I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, I no. didn't know. Yeah, it's an area in Japan. Like, it's oh. like a, like the party like a uh, nightlife district in, in Japan. All right, hon. Um, uh, so may, and so I'm sure maybe I'm sure you know games like pinball and stuff and stuff like that or gambling and stuff are a thing over there. So like, maybe that's why the the text there looks so similar to Rapunzel Three K's logo in New Japan. <laughs> Alright, the number of coins there, or rings, sorry. Even though they're rings, they, they, they're coins. Those, those are clearly coins. But they're we're gonna, rings. We're gonna turn into fucking Donald, or not Donald, but sorry, Scrooge the Duck. Exactly. exactly. We, we, we and we're gonna dive into we're a money pit. We're gonna dive into it and break all our bones. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen money all the time. Yes, but I worked hard to perfect that skill. Trading muscles and dexterity. I love that they reference that. Yeah. They, they actually, like, acknowledge I... the, the, uh, the, the, phys the, the physical, uh, Impossibility of that <laughs> in, in, in the new DuckTales show, which you didn't like. I like, I mean, I like parts of it. Parts of it were good. Yes. But parts of it were really fucking stupid. I mean, you, love, you, love, you love David Tennant, of course. I do, that's and that's like the real, that's like the reason I was watching. Right, the reason why you wanted, you wanted to But it wasn't really about him, it was right. about the three kids. That's true, yeah, it is. And I can't fucking stand them. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Well, you don't like kid characters in general. No, they're fucking annoying. It's fine, I know, I'm waiting for that. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah, I rock. So this, this 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 pinball table is based on a, a, another Sega character IP uh, series called Nights into Dreams. Okay. Uh, about this fairy guy, the, the, the guy in the middle. He's okay. like he's, he's like he has a weird purple hat, and he like goes in people's dreams and like you know gives them gives them uh, confidence and belief in themselves mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I remember Xavier Woods was on a uh, Hot Pop Pepper Gaming, mm -hmm. and he talked about. Uh, so he reviewed uh, Street Fighter okay. after eating a pepper, and then decided, you know, I'm gonna show what a man I am, so I'm gonna do a, a second one and talk about uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, his favorite, uh, ra his favorite GameCube game. Okay, I did uh, enjoy then, Mario Double Dash. Uh, I'm saying it's the best Mario Kart ever, and I think it's a, I, I think it's a, it's a toss up between that one and Mario Kart Eight. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, he reviewed that one and then decided he was gonna go the extra mile and do a third game okay. and a third pepper, uh, okay. and it was Nights in the Dreams for, for Sega Saturn, the game, mm -hmm. the, the game that this is based on. Oh, cute. I remember him saying like. Nights, he goes into your dreams and helps you believe in yourself. He tells you you can do it. And I need that as a child because I didn't have anyone to tell me that I could do it. But Nights, you helped me do it. And Aww. you're the best. <laughs> like, like the game gave him like confidence and let him oh, believe, that's in, really helped him believe in himself as a child. Like that a is so Socially cute. awkward little child. No. That's really cute. Yeah, it's, I, I thought it was nice. Um, but he still did, it, it was funny to hear him say that while he was dying from three hot peppers. The, um, the, the purple thing in the middle, mm -hmm. or that was in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, reminded me of um, look, reminded me of this color scheme of Darkwing Duck, which is why I'm gonna oh, say yeah. this. Oh yeah, there he is, there he is, right there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, He's like playing but uh, I was I was thought I'm thinking about watching that. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. I know that one of the characters from Ducktales. Yes, yes. Is in the, it. The, the pilot guy. Yeah, and <laughs> I did not like him. <laughs> well, there you go. I thought he was annoying. Mm -hmm. I couldn't like his voice just irritated nah, the shit fine. out of me. Sure. And I thought he was, 
like just not a good character. Not, not a funky, not, not a character you enjoyed. Not a character that I can Whoa. root for. I you're don't want you to win because you're you're so incompetent that I don't. Yeah, yeah, that I don't care. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, it's hard to get behind someone where like they're so incompetent that like. You know, there's one, there's, 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 there's a difference between being an underdog and being, you know, a level of, being, being, being your pure incompetence. Like, I feel like WWE, you know, off topic, but kind of skirts that line sometimes when, like, you know, a babyface can lose a lot, but they still have to be shown. You know, if they're just losing all the time just on their on their own merits, then, then that doesn't, you know, make for a good character that you can yeah. really get behind that person. Yeah. You know, if they, if they lose, it's, you know, if they're screwed over constantly, that's one thing. But, yeah. like, if, if they lose, if they lose all the time. You know, while trying their best, and you know, nothing is really impeding them besides themselves. Yeah. You know, you can't really support a character like that. And like, I, I'm always here for like an underdog, babyface kind of character. Mm -hmm. But I just, <laughs> I don't goodness. like Launchpad. Fair I enough, don't think he's that great. I mean, so I never watched. I'm, that's why I'm not really, Fine. probably not actually gonna end up watching him. Yeah. Well, he's he, he, he's a side. Want to. Well, he's a side character in both. I think you'd like Darkwing Duck because you know, superhero. It, right? It's a good superhero based show, and and the character of Darkwing Duck is kind of an asshole. Like he's, he's not a nice guy. He's not a nice guy at all. And <laughs> I like it's, that. It's a breath of fresh air. You know, you know, you know. I love a good asshole protagonist. Yeah, yeah. Um. So I mean, maybe. I know. I know, I, I know he has a uh, an, an arch nemesis called Nega Duck. He's like you know an evil version of him. And I remember uh, Wolfman would always talk about uh, Nega Duck because he had like. It, it, well, well, first of all, well, I'll talk about him because he has a he has an infamously uh, evil fucking voice. Okay. Done by I think I can't remember who did the voice. Uh, somebody famous, some, some famous voice actor, and did a great job. Mm -hmm. He's like ah, that, that, that kind of voice. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think there's a scene where he suction cups up a wall, oh and uh, Wolf would share that gift in response, or that in response to like the money in the bank thing. The suction cup up the wall, and you'll get to the money in the bank first. Yep. But of course, all I can think of was suction cup Come man. On. Look at me go. We should tell James about that. <laughs> James? Yeah. Oh, about oh yeah, about the concept. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we talked about it in the smart chat. He's not in there. He's not in there very often, but I'm sure he would I'll text enjoy that. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll find a way to like bring it up to him or something. You know. Yeah. Because you know he's not always responsive on, uh, on no. chat and stuff. No, but he's more Love responsive me, than some of our other. That's true. <laughs> we, we love our friends, but they're hard to talk to sometimes. Not not because of anything they do, but because they're not online very much. Yes. Or it's not messenger very much. You, you, you have on Discord. Yeah. To uh, to find these people. Here we are again in Fantasyland, where everything's upside down for some reason. And there's knights. Xavier um, Woods is a childhood hero. Mm. Mm. We. <laughs> Do you have a character that helped you, like, you know, believe in yourself as a, as a child? Um. I know you still have trouble with that. A lot of people do, but um, did you? Do you think? I don't know. Well, cats will believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. No. Well, well, everything is cats, so like everything is evil too. So I, I, well, I thought I would ask. That's because he purred when I needed him to. Well, purr. there you go. So he was. Well, no, he didn't. That wasn't so much help me believe in myself. It was more like purrs. Well, that you get I, through things. Yes. <laughs> so it's and, and so did Jackson to a lesser extent. Yes. Um, because our, I, I have this one very distinct memory mm -hmm. of one year when I got a really shitty part in Nutcracker. Like it was I'm so sure you've told the story before, but you can get done. That I don't, that I don't actually count in my list of parts because it was so bad. <laughs> and I did it anyway. Don't forget about it? Yes. <laughs> um, nah, fuck you. I always had bad parts in, play, in, in theater things as well, so don't worry about it. Um, Cause I could act, but I never, I never, I think I just was a bad audition, so I never yeah. got a good part. Yeah. Um, right, go ahead, go ahead, continue. And, uh... Mm. Oh right, and so I, I go online, I see the cast list, I burst into tears, mm. and um, Jackson is on my bed, yeah. and I just go and bury my face in her side, Aww. and she starts purring, Aww. and it's so therapeutic. I'm sure it Damn is. Damn it. <laughs> I believe you. I'm sure it is very nice. I mean, Midnight would always, like, you know, if I was upset, I would hug him, and he would, like, you know, he would, he would, he'd be receptive. Yes. I don't think he would, like, shower me with affection, but he would, he'd, be, yes. he'd be receptive to it and stuff. And he'd understand that, like, you know, just 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 just, just, just lie there. Like, he'd always just lie there anyway, but, yeah. you know, if, uh, he, he, would, he, would, he would keep lying there. He wouldn't, like, get up and leave or anything, so I appreciated having him there as well. Yeah, give me money, give me money, give me money. Yeah. Um, She's but... Like, my eyes, Jesus. Character, character. Yeah, yeah, just what you look at. There's a new one that you idolized, looked up to, and stuff, or something like that. Um... Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah. What did you? What did you? Like, what, 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 like, like Hermione or something? <laughs> like, like Harry Potter or something? I something mean, like that. I didn't. I mean, Hermione was awesome, but I don't think she. She didn't really like inspire me right. really. Well, I think because like you know, after JK, as it's known, like uh, retcon. Well, no, no, I was gonna say like she based Hermione off her like childhood self. Yeah. And I think a lot of girls, probably that red Harry Potter and stuff, you know, went through similar things with uh, yeah. both Hermione. I'm sure maybe JK did as well. So, yeah. you know, I think a lot of people probably look up to uh, Hermione for that reason. I mean, I I did, but like I never really felt inspired. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't I'll know. Had this, is, this is hard. <laughs> Here you go. Um, what about you? Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe Ash and Pokemon is a little though, I could probably think of, you know? Cause, like, this thing I, was pretty cool. Yeah, that's true. I think, like, the good thing about Ash, though, honestly, back on the, the Pokemon thing, but Sonic 2 is so close to there. Um, Sonic 2?! What? No, no, I meant that. No, oh. I, that, was, that wasn't a misspeak. Oh, that was not a misspeak. Just because oh. we're in a Sonic 2, like, we're, we're thinking, we, we, we talked a lot about Sonic 2 earlier, so. We did. Um, we're probably still gonna. Well, yeah, of course. But, 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 but the reason I say Ash, I think, is because one thing I think they probably did, did deliberately with him was he would never win the big one. Like, he yeah. would do the big league battles and stuff and the big tournaments and stuff. He'd go to the finals, but he would like, just, just just barely not make it, you know? I feel like that's kind of more realistic than yeah, someone agree. who always wins, who wins every freaking time. I think occasional failure, I think, is important to make a character more relatable. Yeah. I think uh, that's probably done deliberately. Because I remember it was a big deal, I think, like, a couple of years ago when Ash, when Ash finally won... A, a like championship or whatever, like like a like a like a like a Pokemon League championship thing. That's one for the first I time. Think. You know, but it was like a few years ago, so like you you, you know how long it took. Yeah, you, know, you can tell how long it took. And like going back to Harry Potter, like they always win. Right. And yeah. that's boring as fuck. Not always. Like freaking didn't win in freaking Order of the Phoenix. They didn't win in Gavel of Fire. They didn't ring in. Uh, they didn't ring in Half Blood Prince for, for God's sake. See, 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 it started out like that, but then, like, you know, the losses started piling up, you know? Yeah. Both losses as far as, like, we lose the battle and also we lose people we care about. Um, so, you know, I think that's... You know, Was but, Cedric something we actually care about? I get. Well, I mean, for the book readers, maybe, because he's been around for longer than that, but... Um, well, no! Not even that! Like, he was barely around in the books. Like, well, he was, he was in more than one... Well, I mean times. he was in more than one book. Well, yes. He was in Which is why when Dobby died in the books, it meant more to certain people. Some, some people that well, it meant the same because you know they were they were thinking of the book, I'm sure. But yeah. um, he, when he died, it meant more to like to certain fans because he was in like a, a bunch of the books, like yeah, two, five, is, and like six. Not a six, great seven. character, right? Not a great character. <laughs> well, he's 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 inhuman and endearing, so that's why people like him. That's why I remember like. That's why when the Transformers movies continued, which is why I think of this because Transformers 2 was on earlier, uh, mm. the, the worst one, um, <laughs> uh, where there's literally a fucking ball sack joke. Oh, um, God. I'm here for ball jokes, but not There that. we go, got it. Uh, but anyway, uh, the reason why they... Because at, at the end of the first movie, Bumblebee gets his voice back, because before yeah. the rest of the time he was speaking through the radio, and it's like, oh, we can't talk, so we, 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 we find him endearing because he can't communicate the same way mm -hmm. we do. So, you know, we, 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 it's, it's, like, it's like a pet. We, 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 we feel like we have, to, we have to take care of him. We feel like he's uh, helpless as a result. Yeah. Um, so he gets his voice back at the end of the first one, and then by the second one, he lost it again because they realized that's what made him mark the blood, what made him, like, likable and stuff. Yeah. So, having no voice. So. I mean, and in the old show, he always had a voice. He always had a kid character and stuff. He wasn't just, like, a comic relief thing. But, uh, yeah, I think just having characters like that that can't, Communicate the same way is a, uh, or like you know, are, are different in some yeah. capacity. Or why um, people like them? Maybe, maybe, maybe some people like Yoda so much because he speaks about people. And, and why people? I remember Rob. Rob I'm sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. Like, whole, 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 whatever thought you had. Um, that's what I remember. That's what Robert Williams once said about uh, the Looney Tunes characters: mm -hmm. is how they're also endearing because they're not—they're imperfect. They have speech impediments, like a bunch of them do. Freaking Daffy Duck, and freaking Umber Fudd, and uh, mm -hmm. so much so of the cat. Like, they all had like speech impediments have made them more human and more relatable yeah. because, you know, they weren't, like, perfect, clean-cut, like, Mickey Mouse characters, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I get that. Do you remember what you were going to say? Um, but I know that you've noticed that a lot of the movies I watched in child were about women overcoming the odds. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could, yeah, the movies you showed me that you had on DVD from your house, like, a lot of them, <laughs> the plots were very similar, I'll say that. Yes, Memoir, I know. Memoirs of a Geisha, uh, Burlesque, uh, what was the other, there was one other one, what the fuck was it? Um... Dangerous Beauty? Probably, yeah. That was not on that was not a DVD that I had, but that was on Netflix. Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde is the fucking best thing ever. It's <laughs> um, Reese with a spoon makes it good. Reese with a spoon I'll makes say it that. friggin' awesome. I'll say that. Um She's very good. She is awesome. Um Even though the writing is kinda of suspect at times. Oh yeah, no, the writing I'm not defending the writing. It fucking sucks. <laughs> um 
but I mean, like, like the lot, like the dialogue is fine. Yeah, no, it's but fine. like the actual. And there, are, and there are some genuinely funny moments. Yes. I mean, Bendis snap is freaking iconic. Everyone, know, everyone, snap everyone knows is that. The everyone remembers that. Greatest thing ever. Yeah. And that will always be my favorite chick flick. There you go. Well, um, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad it's not. Because I don't, I don't know. I will say that Elle Woods did inspire me. Yeah. Well, but there you go. We we um, brought it all full circle. Yay! <laughs> and um and so did um. Like, I, I will say that there are characters who I would want to be like. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> some of them are not the best. Well, I can see Elle Woods because, like, she accomplished big things while still being true to herself. Yeah. Wait, which like, I, think is, I think is evident in the way that you try to uh, implement uh, geek culture and stuff in everything you do in, in, in uh, college and, well, yeah, and in grad and school so, and everything. Well, yeah, I'm so upset that they're not letting me do it, that they're not letting me right, have fun yeah. with my frigging capsule. Well, it was just the prompt school. thing I think was, work was workable. I'll, yeah, I'll trust the experts. So cool. I'll trust the experts. Um, but, yeah, but I think that's evident in, in that kind of stuff that you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, I mean, the, the characters that I would most want to be like... Otherwise, oh, it murder. Um, well, in Game of Thrones, I want to be Marjorie. Uh huh. Because she's my favorite, <laughs> and I love her. Um, I mean, everyone's got everyone's got a favorite Game of Thrones character. You say yours is Marjorie? No, she's second best. Right, who's first best? I forget. Well, it used to be Tyrion. Right. Um, and they buried him. Ba back in you know the, the actual good parts of the freaking show slash books. Yeah, once I get some once I get some up, he's out. That's All enough right. more than enough. Fair enough. Um, Good. And, uh, but Marjorie, um, she, um, she's very, uh, she is good at what she does. Right, she's competent. And, and, she, I, I, and oh, I'm going to ball for you. And one of the, um, one of my favorite lines, at least yeah. from the show, uh -huh. um, is something that she said, and Littlefinger's there, right. and he's asking her, um, do you want to be a queen? And he goes, no, I want to be the queen. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like... I think, um, <laughs> I remember a line in, uh, Dark, oh, thank God, a line in, uh, Dark Crystal that I think you might relate to is when, uh, Chamberlain's like, no, don't kill him yet, not until I have, uh, until, until, uh, I bring him back to a castle, not until General sees my seat, or, uh, General is humiliated, not until I have my seat back. <laughs> and then Hunter's yes. like, pathetic, you hunt a chair, and Chamberlain's like, no, I hunt power. Yes, so, that is actually me. So those are the kind of characters I think you like. Alright, some yeah. games and chill. Woo! We had a very good discussion while playing these dumb casino games. I was afraid it would get really boring, but it didn't, so yay for <laughs> us. Haha. <laughs>